Hello everyone, I'm back on this cold, rainy fr Friday with another episode of Stardew Valley on Quarantine Farm. Um, weather, welcome to Cozy 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful and sunny day tomorrow. On the fortune teller? Ah, yes, I can hear the spirits whispering something to me. The spirits feel neutral today, the day is in your hands. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is craft a scarecrow. Um, I also was given the suggestion by my good friend Andrew to uh, do voices for all of the characters. Uh, so now, not only do you have to listen to me spout random things uh, throughout the entirety of the episode, you also are going to have to listen to me do silly voices for all of the characters. Um, so you can thank my friend for that. Uh, and you can't make fun of me. You're not allowed because they could be very awkward. Uh, we will see though. We'll see if- maybe I won't even talk to anyone today. We'll see. Uh, alright, cool. So, there's my scarecrow. Uh, it covers about a circle of eight tiles. So, one, two, three. So mine's like nine, so realistically if I can put it somewhere in the middle it should be fine. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, okay, that should cover it. Maybe it won't cover these areas over here. So maybe I'll make another one. Actually, uh, I will. I'll, I'll make two. I'll start by putting one up here, and I'll put one down there. Um, and we'll go about our day as usual. It's a Saturday uh, in Stardew Valley. A sunny Saturday, unlike today, which is a rainy, rainy Friday. Um, it's cold, even though it's spring. Uh, but we will go talk to Pierre, so I will at least have to speak to Pierre. Um, maybe we'll talk to Harvey as well. I don't know yet. Uh, let's... Cool. So we'll craft one more scarecrow. We can put it in this bottom corner. So these prevent the crows from eating all of our crops, which is really nice. Uh, and I'm happy to have that happen. So that's that's a big bonus. Um, I think I also might go about trying to get a well, just because that's kind of far away. Eventually, I will move my crop fields down a little further. Um, Maybe once I get a little bit of a better start off to everything. Uh, Alright, so now that our plants are all water, we can head into town. Um, I'm gonna wanna buy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. At least thirteen different crops. Maybe more, depending on how I'm feeling. Oh, boy. I certainly want to get my hoe and put away the two things that I have in my hip pockets. Um, I like walking around with my hoe because the, uh, it's the only thing you can use for, um, digging up the artifact squares. Which are those, like, squiggly little worms. And if I have my hoe on me, um... And I run into one, I can go dig it up and not have to run all the way back to my farm and all the way home and all the way whichever way. Uh, and also, I think if we run into Harvey, we will talk to him and give him one of these dandelions. Ah! Oh! <clears throat> oh, hi there. What an eyesore. This is the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it anyway. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Now, oh, just look at it. It's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. Okay, Boomer. 
But listen to me, I sound like an old fool. Jojo Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Ah oh, well. If anyone else buys a Jojo Co membership, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it. So <gasps> Here, let's go inside. Our first look at the Pelican Town Town Hall! Very bad. <laughs> Huh? What's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. What? What's the matter? Are you ill? You saw something. Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. You're worrying me, Shan. Look, I think I'm going to head home. I need some lunch. Hey. I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help catch that rat if you have some extra time. <sighs> Strange. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. And now the real Stardew Valley lore begins. Um... There, something strange happening in Stardew Valley. Oh man, I don't remember how many seeds I need. Thirteen? Uh, thank god I don't have to talk to Pierre. <laughs> uh, let's see. I will get... Uh... Great, good enough. A hundred eleven dollars left. Is Harvey in here? Who? Oh, sometimes he goes up to his house. Uh, it is a Saturday, so he might not actually be in business today. We can go plant our seeds, and then we can go and open up the uh, geodes that I have. Alright, so we will get back to planting these 13 seeds. Oh, oh, I definitely needed more than 13. Maybe not, maybe not. I'm not good at counting, so we'll see. <laughs> Uh, uh, normally I like, you know, having some sort of semblance of an order to these kind of things. Um, oh, I think we actually have enough. But I kind of, it's kind of, kind of eclectic right now. Um, that's fine though, because it's, oh, I had one extra. Oh, no, I didn't, no, I didn't. Perfect amount. Oh, wait, I can't count or see, apparently. I do have an extra. Alright, that's fine. We will keep that for, um, a later date when I inevitably will be planting more seeds anyways. Um, not a big deal. Uh, yeah. Okay, so now we can go, I'm gonna go check out down in the little mining area I have. Um, see if there, wait, I'm gonna sell these. See if there's anything cool down there, and then we can go to Clint and break open some more of those geodes. We might end up doing that more tomorrow um, than today, just because I don't have a lot of energy left. 
Uh, and by energy, I totally meant I don't have a lot of water left. Um, uh, that's not what I meant either. I meant to say money. It's been a long day. I have ugh, ugh, schoolwork, you know. Um, yeah, I don't have a lot of money to open all of the geodes, so I don't know if I'll be able to. Oh, cool, rice shoots. Yeah, so I'm gonna plant those too. Um, that's a, another one of the new things in this game, which I think is super cool, is all the rice shoots that, that or the, it's a new crop that you can plant, and you have to plant it near the water, um, but it waters itself, which is really cool. So I can go like this the perfect amount of rice shoots to water but if you can see it turns like blue uh, it's got little seeds uh, okay well I won't be able to make it to Clint today because I have in fact um, run out of time because it's 4 p.m. and that's not enough time to make it to Clint but I can uh, go to the bar tonight and I think Harvey will probably be out there. So I can talk to him at the bar. Um, and then I can go around do some foraging routes. Um, I might also, instead of just playing one day, play two days and kind of... Oh, there he is, Harvey! Uh, can I do anything for you? Take care. I don't... Yeah, I don't know what kind of voice that was. Uh, let's see. That's such a nice gift. Thank you. Yeah, I don't like that voice either. We'll get- I'll get- I'll get back to you on Harvey. I don't know. I don't know what kind of voice he'd have, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. We'll figure something out. My arms are really sore, but that's a sign of progress for a guy like me. I must have done a thousand push-ups yesterday. I don't believe that. You know, I just, I really, really don't believe that. I don't know. Man, I'm not, I don't know. I don't know what people sound like. You probably wouldn't like it inside my cabin. It's dark and full of spiders. Do you like that? Like, do you, I mean... I don't know. See, that's why I don't like Elliot. Like, who likes that? Who likes being inside of a dark, spidery cabin? Um, I'll, I'll workshop the voices, we'll see. Um, if I end up keeping them or not. Uh, I'm sure Willie would talk like a pirate. Let's see. Ahoy there. It's nice to see young folk moving into the valley. It's not very common these days. Great. I'm loving this. I'm loving the voices. I'm not embarrassed at all whatsoever by them. I'll keep doing them. Maybe I'll get better at them. But they sure are weird. Uh... This is such a small town. You can't avoid meeting everyone. I wonder what it's like to live in the city. You'll never find out, Penny. You smell like grass. <laughs> Dad's coming back soon. I hope he brings me some toys. Ah, uh, me too, kid. Me too. Oh boy. I don't even... I'm not even... I'm not... Hmm, I just remembered that I was meaning to do something, but I forgot. This happens to me all the time. I... What? I didn't hear you. I'm busy thinking about something. What do you want? I don't know. Do you guys know Raven from Teen Titans? That's what I feel like Sebastian would talk like, personally. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he was Raven from Teen Titans, because he kind of looks like her. Um, kind of acts like her. So, you know, who's to say? I don't, yeah, I don't know how to do, um, different voices for people without making them sound incredibly ridiculous. But, that's fine. 
It'll happen. They'll sound ridiculous. I'll sound ridiculous. We'll all have a good time laughing at me. I have a good time laughing at me. Personally. Ugh. Yep. <sighs> kind of wish I brought my fishing pole so I could spend some time fishing. I lose so much time in this game running into various bushes. Like, I never know what path I can get through and what I can't. Like, realistically, I probably could have fit through something like that, but, you know, I didn't. And then, like, all those tiny rocks on the ground, I get stuck on them all the time because I just don't pay attention to where I'm going. And it makes everything take so much longer. Ugh. And I always forget how big of an area this is right here. Oh, boy. Oh. It's dark. Dark and spooky. Yeah, I don't know. I always feel like I don't find as many uh, forageables as I'd like to, especially especially early on. Um, maybe I don't look around enough. I feel like I do, though. Um, I should clean that up. Yeah, I don't know. Uh... I think I'm probably, I might, I might play another day. Wait, what do I need to make this? 20 copper and 25 stone. I've got plenty of stone, but not enough copper. So, I guess I will try to go get more stone tomorrow. Um, oh, I did a puppy. Yeah, okay. So, uh... I'll leave it at that for now. Um, what did I do? Oh, cool. I'll discover new crafting recipes to increase profit and make life easier. A scarecrow, for example, will prevent crows from snacking on your precious crops. Another hundred dollars. Not bad. And this is new. Oh, yes. There's something odd going on at the community center. Investigate the community center. I could have done that while I was already at the community center. Well... I guess that will have to wait for tomorrow. You can find out what happens tomorrow. Um, thank you all for watching. Uh, thanks for giving me advice on a bunch of different things. I hope you really think that telling me I should do voices was worth it, because now you're stuck with me making up weird voices for everyone and definitely forgetting them. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for giving me advice. Uh, stay tuned for the next day, and stay safe. Bye.